Make it in the dressing room, okay? Make a good fight. Take and go back. So this is only the second time we've seen Liam Davis in the ring in 2023, and he's only been in there for 2 minutes and 46 seconds. The time it took him to stop Jason Cunningham in July. He's defending his European and WBC international titles tonight against an unbeaten fighter from Campania in Italy, Vincenzo La Familia, whose chin might be his best form of defence, we're told, but has a real opportunity if he can pull off the shot tonight. Davis, though, Richie, says he intends to end it early. Yeah, he wants to get a, a quick night tonight, Liam Davis, and he's improving with every contest, is Davis. Going for it here, big shots already yeah, from landing, Liam Davis. Landing good punches early, landing, landing good, long, accurate punches early, and the head of La Famina was being flicked around here, there and everywhere by that opening barrage from the champion Liam Davis, whose confidence seems to grow every time we see him, and who knows what 2024 might look like for him, but he's really set about his work early, and at the minute, Richie, the challenger can't get out of the way. He's got to watch it there. Yeah, good straight shots from Davis. He's just got a nick, though, I think, on his left eye, just above his nose, as Davis has got to watch out for that. But he's going for it early on here, Davis. Big shots going in from him with that right hand. And from La Fumina, low guard. So that's inviting the pressure from Davis. Yeah, that was a super shot there from Davis. La Fumina was expecting the jab to come out and then whips a long left hook around the guard of the Italian. And again, it's good work from Davis there. some stage he's going to have to try and land the power shots himself but at the moment he's just trying to survive what Davis is throwing at him. Better work again from Davis, long range, he's aggressive but at long range. Yeah but he's making too many mistakes for me now, now oh, good shot again from Davis, long straight right hand. All set up by the jab that he was being told about between rounds and now he can really get to work and start to put those punches together and he can't miss again in there Liam Davis. Just caught there though by that long shot from Lafamina Davis on the top of his head, no damage done, nice combination then from Davis back and there's that uppercut and the body shot straight off the back of it again. Long straight right hand from Davis again. The jab that's the, the, the main shot though for Davis, that sets up that right hand and keeps the man off balance and keeps him at bay. Seems oh, there you look at that, oh. there's the shot. Two, three, there's the shot, four, standing eight count for Lafamina. Good shot seven, from Liam Davis. Eight. Only a matter of time, Flex, you can't keep going into that mid-range there with your hands so low. Well, let's see how much damage that's done. Can Liam Davis get the stoppage? Still 40 seconds to go in the third, and he's going to pile on the pressure. Survival mode now for the Italian. Yes. Davis looking for a punch that can end it here. Uppercut follows up with a hook. Lafamina trying to fight back, still showing courage in there. Davis Whoa. looking at the down goes Two. Davis. Down Three. goes Davis. Four. The sucker punch Five. from Lafamina and a standing count Seven. for Davis. Yeah, just a flash Eight. knockdown, just gets caught. He's actually loading up to, to try and put a heavy shot on Lafamina, so that evens it up a little bit. But yeah, it was a good shot indeed, but he seemed to be off balance, a bit of a flash knockdown, what a round. What a round indeed, and if the Italian who seemed to be on his way out needed a jolt of confidence from somewhere, he's just got it. He's had a really good 18 months or so, Liam Davis, looking to put the pressure on Lafamina again, but every time he does, the Italian finds something from somewhere to come back. He's just got to pace himself here, as Liam Davis. He's letting his hands go with those straight right hands especially, there's another one there. He sets him up well behind that jab, long left hook again from Davis. He says nothing do it, he just shakes his head and holds his hands out and says, look, you need more than that. And both of them landing the Davis punch was the better one, it just wobbled the legs momentarily there of La Femina. Yeah, La Femina again. Good body shot though by the Italian, Richard. Yeah, he's tough, isn't he? He really is. Gets into that mid-range section, he wants to land power shots, does La Femina, but he does it with a low guard. I think when your defence is as poor as his, you've got to be tough, haven't you? Because you're going to take a lot of punches. 
what he's doing now. He just wants what he wants um, Davis to throw first. There you go, look, and he's trying to then come back with the counter. Just edging forward with the front foot, wanting Davis to throw. He's trying to counter punch him. There's been no issue with that nick above the eye of Liam Davis. They've got that under control. That came in the first round, but it's not got any worse. Final a few seconds here with the fourth. Down he goes again. Two, three, Down he goes again. Four, La Femina. Five. Excellent shot six, from Davis. Seven, eight. Tremendous left up from Davis right at the end of the round. Davis working behind the jab and then he follows it up with that whipped in right hand. He says to La Femina, come on, let's have it then. Yeah, of course he does because he knows he can bring him onto a shot. He's already brought him onto one good left up. In all fairness to the Italian challenger though, Rich, he's always happy to oblige. Yeah, he's tough, isn't he? The Italians are. Davis lands the right hand, he's wobbling again. He's got to hang on again. The hurtful shots! And he jumps in to stop it. Fabian Guggenheim dives in to save Vincenzo Lafamina from any further punishment. Yes! And Liam Davis gets the job done in style. Yes, he did indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Our referee in charge, Fabian Guggenheim, stops the contest. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout still undefeated and European Super Bantamweight Champion, Liam Dangerous Davis! So Liam Davis ends 2023 with another inside the distance win. He continues to impress and build momentum and he's now hoping for a really big fight in 2024.